Hi guys, welcome to Netax Tamil. Today we are going to discuss about subnetting part 2 scenario 4. Guys, you might be thinking, okay, why these guys are making a multiple scenarios? Okay, the scenario is based on the class A, class B, class C. Okay, that will make you the make clear understanding about the subnetting. Okay, the part one we made with the how to find out the networks, the network segregation in the subnetting. Now part two, we are completely making with the segregation based on the hosts, valid IPs based on the, those requirements we are working it. If you see that both the series, uh, part one and part two, both the series, okay, you will be get clear idea about the subnetting in and around. Let us do this scenario four with the class A IP address. Class A IP address will take as a 10.0.0.0. Okay. I need 100 host per network. How many host? Per network, I need 100 host. By default, subnet mask of A is 255.0.0.0, which we all know, slash 8. Now, let us do the calculation determining bits for host 128 64 32 16 8 4 2 1 we need a hundred if we calculate all this definitely we'll get a hundred so let us call to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 bits we are reserving with 7 bits from this if you are doing anything okay definitely will get going to get 100 so we are reserving a 7 bits here now let us do the next calculation reserving a seven bits reserve the bits and find the increment value Okay, 7 bits, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Remaining one is a 1. Okay, now 8 is completed. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, now call for the subnet mask. 255.255.255.255. One twenty-eight. CDR value if you see for this eight plus eight plus eight plus one twenty-five. Now we got a twenty-five subnet mask here. Okay, with this we got a subnet mask is a twenty-five. The CDR value is twenty. Uh, twenty-five subnet mask is two fifty-five dot two fifty-five dot two fifty-five dot one twenty-eight, and then increment value is. 1 to 8 increment values 1 to 8 1 to 8 we got increment value now we have our CADR value also now let us do the incrementing now this is a quite this is a third octet right this is a, we got a, in fourth octet the host we got it in the fourth octet so we need to be careful while doing it the subnetting now let us do the first network 10.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0. Second network 10.0.0.128 here here why because here only we got a changes correct so we have to do in the last octet third one if we do 10.0.0.256 will come so it will change as here 1.0 fourth one 10.0.1.128 it will be keep on going like that so starting IP address is 0 0.12, 0 0.126, 127 is a broadcast IP. Here starting IP is 0 0.129, end with 0 0.254, 0 0.255 is a broadcast IP. After that 1.0 will come. Like this it will be going. Here 
1.1 dot one is a valid IP and then 1.126 dot one twenty six is a last IP 127 is a broadcast IP so it will be going like this keep on so let us calculate the number of host this is a 32 minus how many bits we got 20 5 7 2 power 7 minus 2 how much we'll get 128 minus 2 equal to 126 we'll get 126 host per network 126 host per network okay let us calculate 25 minus network also how many networks will get 25 minus 8 we'll get a 17 okay 2 power 17 how much value comes that is the that many networks we'll get into this IP address scenario our requirement is 100 host but we'll get a 126, 126 host per network this is a class A scenario. While doing the class A scenario, people will feel a bit complicated. We need to see the which octet the change is happening. Based on that, we need to calculate it. Hope this video makes clear about the complete subnetting. If you have any doubts, please watch the complete series of subnetting which we have uploaded. If you have more any doubts, please connect with me over the comments. We'll address you your doubts. Thanks for watching Net Talk Samil. Please like it, share it, comment it.